Hi everybody, welcome back to Britpop's React. Today, you've got me, BP1, and we're doing another lyrical corner right here with Mornaskin. I want to be your slave. Now, we've done a few uh, lyrical corners now with Mornaskin, and, you know, Damo, or how I'm calling him, his, his poetry and everything has been fantastic, and it's really nice to break down some of the songs that we've reacted to. So we have reacted to I Want to Be a Slave, and you haven't watched it, I encourage you to have a look up there. Now you might be noticing that I'm spotting, sporting, um, the Italia football shirt for this one. So I've I've got the the 1982 World Cup winning shirt on uh, for all our Italian fans out there. Uh, whilst we've got the Euros on, so I thought we'd we'd do a bit of that. Um, a bit about the song. So I want to be your slave. It's a Italian rock band, obviously, and they are. This song is from their second studio album. Teatro di Ira, Volume 1, uh, 2021, so this year. Um, although it was not released as a single, the song managed to reach the top 10 positions on charts across Europe, including number one in Finland. Fantastic. Right, so let's get into the lyrics. And shout out to Shadow Music on this one, uh, as I'm using their YouTube uh, lyric video for this. And we'll just, we'll just go through them and break them down like we have done with the others. I wanna be a slave, I wanna be a master. I wanna make your heart beat run like roller coasters. I wanna be your slave, I wanna be your master, I wanna make your heart beat run like roller coasters. Alright, so straight away I'm, you think it's a love song. Uh, you know, I wanna be a slave, I wanna be a master, I wanna love you, I want you to love me, I you know that sort of romanticized sort of it i want to make your heartbeat run like roller coasters you know your adrenaline rush when you go on a roller coaster is like boom um fair enough so straight away into that i want to be a good boy i want to be a gangster because you could be the beauty and i could be the monster I... <laughs> it's like beauty and the beast isn't it i want to be a good boy i want to be a gang gangster i think it's because um there's girls out there or men out there that like um like the good side of someone and the little bit naughty side of someone um and that's obviously what he's getting out there you know the bad boy good boy image um yeah very good and what we got here uh because you could be the beauty and i could be the monster again i guess it's a reference to uh disney's beauty and the beast um but yeah, there you go. I love you so this morning, no, just for aesthetic. I want to touch your body so fucking electric. I fair, fair enough. I love you since the mor uh, this morning, not just for aesthetic. I want to touch your body. So effing electric. Okay, so uh, yeah, again, it's totally a, love, uh, a, a love passionate song, isn't it? I love you since this morning, not for, you know, not just for the way you look i love you everything about you um and you, the other two i want to touch your body so effing electric there you know it's that's the sort of romantic passion that's built into it i know you're scared of me you say that i'm too eccentric i'm crying on my tears and that's fucking pathetic <laughs> <laughs> all right so again i know you're scared of me you said i'm too eccentric i'm crying on my tears and that's effing pathetic so at this point you just heard from one side of it now you hear it's um you know i know you're scared of me so i think we've still i did this in another one of uh, mourner skin songs about that relationship of not wanting somebody uh throughout the whole song so this is the first time we've sort of seen it from the other side so uh i know you're scared of me you said i'm too eccentric too much for that person uh, I'm crying all my tears and, and I'm, that's just pathetic. That's pathetic of me to be doing that. Okay, fair enough. Wanna make you hungry, then I wanna beat ya. I wanna paint your face like your mom on a Lisa. <laughs> okay. I mean, interesting, when you're sat there writing this, I would imagine, you know, having a, like, a love passion song, what am I going to write? You know, I want to make you hungry, then I want to feed ya. I mean, I want to starve you of something and then I want to give you what you want. Um, I want to give you a bit of me, basically, is what he's trying to say. I want to make you hungry, then I want to feed you. I want to paint your face 
like your My Mona Lisa. So obviously the Mona Lisa, the most iconic painting in the whole world um, that every single person knows. So, yeah. Everyone's passionate about that particular painting. So everyone paint my Mona Lisa, the person I'm most passionate about. Okay. I wanna be a champion, I wanna be a loser. I'll even be a clown cause I just wanna muse ya. I tell and this is probably the one song that I have read the lyrics down and I'm thinking he's had, he certainly had fun when he wrote this because I mean it does it, it rhymes and it rhymes very much obviously in English it's, it's sung in English um, you're I want to be a champion I want to be a loser uh, or sorry I want to be your champion I want to be your loser I'll even be I want to be your clown was it say let me just check I'll even be a clown because I just want to amuse her. And this is interesting because I'm re I've got another page here where I'm reading the lyrics from, and they're different. And it just shows the interpretation when they're translated from English to Italian or Italian back to English, even though this is a, a written in English. So I'm not sure where I've got this one from. Um, but yeah, I want to be a champion. I want to be a loser. Uh, I want to be something to you that's amazing. I want to be something to you that maybe you see sorry on or pity on maybe. Again, everything when he quotes that, he quotes them at the other end of the spectrum. The high and the low. The gangster, the good boy, the, you know, the loser, the champion. It's, it's opposite ends of the spectrum. I'll even be a clown because I just want to amuse you. I want to make you laugh. Everyone be, loves being, uh, you know, having having a laugh and being made, you know, laugh. So, yeah, again, fun lyrics. I can see the next one's going to be fun as well. I want to be a sex toy. Well, doesn't take rocket science to, to see what he's saying about that one. I want to be a teacher. Uh, you know, I want to teach you what? The previous one was I want to be a sex toy was it is it is it that uh, I want to be a sin I want to be that someone that you know I shouldn't really but I am uh, I want to be a preacher okay so again I want to be preaching to you um, the love for you my love for you the the preacher of my feelings I wanna be you love me, then I wanna leave ya. Okay, interesting. So you, you look at the whole song um, as trying to get, oh, I want to be with someone, I want to be a slave, I want to be there for you, I want to do anything for you, ultimately. And then he says, uh, I want to make you love me, and then I want to leave you. Because, uh, baby, I'm your David, so I'm the small fry and you're my Goliath, you're the you're the big one and I'm the small one that wants to take you down. I want, you know, I suppose it's like a celebrity and someone off the street and just sort of saying, I want to be with that person, blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, yeah, interesting. Uh -huh. I'm the devil and I'm searching for redemption. Okay, so stepping up now, it's almost like that was the first verse, it's like a story, isn't it? That was the first verse. The second verse is very much, you know, okay, I'm a devil, I'm searching for redemption, something that I've done wrong. Okay, I'm a lawyer searching for redemption, I'm a killer searching for uh, redemption. So all the things that are seen as potential you know well awful uh although a law is not awful but in some in some circumstances it can be seen as being protecting the um you know the wrong sort of things okay <laughs> And I'm a 
Bomb Girl Search and Redemption. Very strange. Okay, so he's obviously looked at all the different things that are seen in a, by somebody or by a certain part of society as being, you know, either picked on or somebody that's done something wrong. So something wrong would be like the killer. I'm so it's my redemption. Someone that's sort of blonde, as they say, uh, you know, searching for redemption, you know, searching for why is that? You know, why should that be the case? He likes that one, doesn't he? Um, a mother effing monster searching for redemption. So, again, you know, it's like a a big powerhouse figure um, who just, yeah, searching for redemption. I'm not quite sure how it really ties into the first verse other than saying that he's he's somebody that's out, uh, M, M, you know, mother effing monster that's out to get what he wants. And if he wants that person, he's going to take that person. He's going to get rid of that person he can do whatever he wants so he's sort of saying that he's a monster searching for his redemption that's why I get so far we run like I want to be a slave I want to be a monster I want to make your heart beat run like roller coasters all right, so we're going over um, verse one again. Now I don't want to, I don't want to bore you all, so I don't want to. Oh no, yeah, we've got some different lyrics. Okay, so cool. All right, let's go. I wanna be a gangster, cause you can be the beauty and I could be the monster. I wanna make you quiet, I wanna make you nervous. Again, I wanna make you quiet, chilled, okay, and I wanna make you nervous. I wanna get under your skin. I wanna make you scared i want to be nervous again picking the opposite ends of uh what he's talking about i want to set you free but i'm too fucking jealous i want to pull your strings like you're my telecast. okay that's more interesting i want to pull your strings so you know again again this one's take two i want to pull your strings because i want to pull the things that make you work the thing that's going to make me work uh, or I want to pull your strings as a puppet. I want to, I want to play with you. I want to make you be my puppet. I don't know. I want to pull your strings like you're my telecaster. I want to pull your strings like, like you're my telecaster. Okay, that you're trying to tell me something. If you want to use me, I could be your puppet. Okay, maybe the puppet reference is there. I've just come across it. Um, yeah, maybe you could use me and I could be your puppet. Because I am I am the devil. Interesting. So he, he's, he's written it as some sort of monster. This is my only interpretation, of course. Okay. Uh, as a, a monster figure that can get what they want, do what they want. But is in love and willing to do anything that, you know. Yes, I'm the devil. So we've got the same, obviously, bridge, I guess. Uh, and I'm a M. <laughs> Mother F. Him. Perfect. Whispers the first two lyrics of the song back again. I want to be a master. I want to be a slave. All right. Interesting. It's it's funny because when we when we react to things, I think you know I was very much reacting to the the beat of the tune, the rock song, and you really don't. And I, I keep saying it. We just don't listen to the lyrics. Um, and all of a sudden, like I say, it's it's like a story written of a person that's very dominant um in every way and 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 it's written in a way of saying oh, i want to be dominant for you but i am a monster um yeah so that that's how i see it that's how i read that 
uh, as a very passionate, dominant, figured sort of song, saying that, you know, I want to be with you no matter what. Um, there was another similar song that Mourner Skin did with that, but that's only my interpretation. Uh, what's yours? Tell me. I love listening to your um, comments, uh, reading your comments. I get back to a few of you when I can, uh, but I do read them all. So even if you you just if you know you get a like, um, I've read them. I've at least read it, and I, and I think, oh yeah. And some of the things I get wrong, or people that have got uh, different uh, suggestions and and how they see the song. So yeah, let me know how how you see this one. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy. I always enjoy listening to Mortal Skin now, and I'm really enjoying actually trying to read the lyrics and see where they, they come from. Maybe I've got it wrong. Let me know. See what you think. Thanks today for another Lyrical Corner from me, BP1. Uh, like the video. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new with us. Um, much help. Always appreciates, yeah, appreciated from us guys. And, uh, you know, to everyone out there and all our Italian friends, it's a bye from me. A ciao till next time. Bye-bye.